The purpose of this video is to help you create your first smoke volume render. Explaining how to generate gaseous fluid dynamics is beyond the scope of this manual, but we can help you get started. If you want to learn more about fluid dynamics, the Blender manual is a good place to start. Let's start by creating a sphere. The sphere will be used as a gaseous emitter. Then we will go to the Physics Properties tab and click the Fluids button. From there, enter the following settings. Next, we're going to use a cube to define the domain. The domain limits the scope of the gaseous fluid simulation. Generally, this means that the bigger your domain, the slower your simulation. So you should only create the size that you need. Keep in mind that the domain also records the results of your simulation. Go to the Physics tab, click Fluids, and enter the following settings. Now let's create a new material for the domain. Let's open up the shader editor by dragging it out. Click the new materials button and in the shader editor, let's delete the universal material node. Now add a volume medium. Make sure to connect it to the volume input pin. Once that is done, hit the play button to run the simulation. Once it loops back around, the second playthrough will not be a simulation but simply a playback. Run the Octane Preview Render. Take some time to adjust the scattering and absorption value. You can think of scattering as a way to directly adjust the color of the volume. Absorption defines how light hits the volume and how it picks up color from it. Once you are done, you can go ahead and render out the scene. If you want to know more about how to render out a scene, you can go to my first Octane Render tutorial, which I will link below. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning!